You can now see it and touch it. Honolulu's rail project is in living color. Today, the Transit Authority brought the project to life by unveiling a rail car model. However, the real life concern remains about the project. KITV First Andrew Pereira joining us now with new information at six. Andrew. Yunji, there were a lot of smiles for today's unveiling. However, those smiles may turn upside down if the project doesn't finish on budget. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is what the future looks like along Honolulu's rail line. People will get a real good sense of what the what the train will look like from the exterior if they come down to Kapolei Hale over the next few months. Actual rail cars will be twice as long, holding about 600 passengers each, and they'll be aligned as a four car setup. The inside of the model is designed more like a theater right now to showcase a promotional video. In the months to come, we'll actually unveil what the interior will uh, look like actually. The Transit Authority is also making progress building the columns that will eventually support the guideway for actual rail cars. By the end of June, 100 columns will be built. By the end of the year, 220 columns will be in place. And that's about half the columns we need for the first 10 miles, believe it or not. 2014 marks full steam ahead for the first three phases of rail. This drawing shows the rail line as it leapfrogs across the H1 freeway near Leeward Community College. Beginning in a couple months, people will start to see some activity. And then in June, we'll actually start recreating the guideway, the actual guideway that will go over the H1 and H2 will be built between June and, say, October of this year. Still, challenges remain for the $5.3 billion project. According to the latest monthly report, there is major concern about the $415 million to $443 million left in the project's contingency fund. The report says, quote, the Project Management Oversight Committee is concerned whether there is sufficient contingency remaining given the status of the project. Those reports are very valuable to us to point out where we need to be focusing our attention to avoid costs. In fact, our contingency continues to be drawn down at a greater than expected pace. We will have to do a reassessment. Meanwhile, the project is falling far short of the 10,000 direct and indirect jobs supporters projected. As of October, there were 919 direct jobs as a result of rail. The Transit Authority says those numbers will increase substantially as 21 stations and the guideway come to life. Height of construction, people say anticipate about 4,000 direct jobs, 4,000 people out there making money for their families um, on this project. And if you want to check out that model car on display yourself, it's at the Kapolei Holly until the end of April. Back to you.